Hey everybody, this is Joe, Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing another monthly inventory video. I'm going to start over here with my brother's inventory, the self-proclaimed king of firewood. And right here is his uh, oak, which is being buried by a bunch of falling oak leaves. And we got a bunch of wild turkeys out in our woods right now, I don't know if you can see them. But this is his general inventory, mainly made up of cherry again getting buried by the leaves coming down as you can see we uh we struggle to keep our property clean of the leaves that are just coming down everywhere um over here this is uh our inventory that will be burning it's my rejected pieces that we've moved up to the house here and uh we've been having fires but this week it's pretty warm it's going to be in the 60s and near 70 all week and sunny the rest of the week so it's going to be nice out over here, this is what I call bay number one. This is where only dry wood goes into or ready to burn, like ash or barkless oak and cherry. Uh, it's about probably less than half a capacity where I am now. If you check the last two videos, it was a uh, full and I had walls out here and it was way up in there. But I would say there's still close to 10 face cords in there of dry, ready to go stuff. Then over here, this is what I call bay number two, which when I start filling it, I usually put semi-seasoned wood in on the back perimeter, stack a wall. Then I put uh, ready to burn stuff in there like the ash. I would say there's probably at least 10 full cords in there right now. I mean, just right there is one cord. So maybe, maybe even 12 full cords in there and a room for a little bit more. I'm hoping not to get into this until uh late december or in january but we'll see we'll see right now right now my helper mike's over at phil's picking up a truck and trailer load of ash rounds and i'm that i'll that are ready to burn i'll just split right into the truck so you really never see those in in the inventory videos right here this is my bundle storage area for the store that i sell to there's 30 bundles there they buy 30 at a time i've been using up all my old inventory that's all I got left. I'm going to make those into bundles for my driveway stand, which would probably make about 10 or so. And then uh, after I sell this wood, because you can see I stack it up against there, then I will uh, replenish this and have it all set to go for next summer. That's when most of the bundles sell. We've got some scrap wood for us, but like I say, buried by the leaves. Here's a, about a half quart of cherry. I don't think that'll be ready until... Uh, next year, probably maybe early spring should be ready to go. I split it green. <clears throat> Back here, this is where I store all the area. This is what I'm gonna I'm gonna call Oak Alley. I'm gonna only put oak into here, and uh, I've sold everything that I've had back here that's dry, ready to go. <clears throat> I just put some of this here I got from Scotty. It was supposed to be all uh, cherry. There's a couple pieces of oak, so I stacked those there. And that's all red oak right there. And that's all white oak. And, but it will not be ready till next year. And then over here, I gotta, I gotta get, I told Nate I need some semi seasoned oak to fill in between those trees there. And then obviously right here, because green oak just takes so long to dry. That's green oak right there. It's been split since June. It's about a Joe cord. And, uh, I, I would say, that that will be ready in the fall. Same with this stuff. This is all red oak that Mike split on that uh, one day, that Sunday that he came and did the live stream video here. And uh, it's all beautiful. Whoever gets that is going to be real happy with it. And I just had a customer last week come and pick up the, the oak that I'd split on Thanksgiving 2020. And this is the only dry stash stuff that I have that's oak. And I'm waiting for like a restaurant or somebody that absolutely has to have oak that's dry for there. And then this is what I have left of my summer campfire wood. About one third of what I started out with. I haven't started repl replacing it because I don't like how it sits on the ground. You can see the stuff gets moldy on the bottom. It doesn't really dry very well. And it's just not really the way to store it. And I just, I know it's only for campfire wood, but... I just don't like how it goes, like only the top third gets nice and dry. So I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with this area, but I haven't yet. I got some stage there, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. 
Then right here, this is one of my cherry areas. This was empty last week, last Monday, but uh, I got a truckload from Scotty and then uh, my brother picked up a truckload from Scotty. So there's two truckloads. And then I paid Mike to split that in a live stream. One more truckload will fill this area up. Some of this is dry, but I would say this stuff will be ready in the springtime. <clears throat> and then somebody, somebody bought all my, all my uh, boiler wood last week. So I don't have any of that. And you can see like a, a, the truck was left outside, <clears throat> more leaves on it. But uh, when I drive to the store right now and I get, get back when Mike and I, we got to load up my truck with uh, shag bar kickery, which I'll show you here in a second. But that's all the boiler wood I got now. So I'm going to make a little road trip here down on the driveway where I store the rest of my wood. And i uh, show you that. But like I say, Mike's uh, over at Phil's right now. Check the mileage. And uh, what button right there? There's the mileage. I think I got it. it was like at 186. Come on. 186 something. So I put on 4,000 miles doing deliveries since like around August 1st when I picked it up. It's due for an oil change and he's going to do some brake work on it. But you can see no boiler wood along the driveway, which is where I normally keep it at. See, empty, empty. So I don't really like dealing with boiler wood anyway. They're just my large rejected pieces that, uh, you know, I don't go out and cut it just to cut boiler wood. Down here, this is where I keep some specialty woods. Right here is hickory. There's probably a, close to a full cord right there. And uh, that stuff should be dry, I would say, in the springtime. It's been there since the last fall. It takes a long time for it to dry. I just had Mike split this and stack it. I'm going to refill this area, but I'm not going to go as big as I did before did before I don't like going way back like that this is the driest hickory that I have left so I, my one restaurant customer said they're going to order from me in a couple weeks to and that should fill them up through the winter time so I don't have to try driving up there in the snowstorm I got some long cut uh black locust here there's probably about a cord right there these are average about 22 inches long I have a, one customer that really likes it I'm surprised he hasn't called me yet to order I probably should uh, get a hold of him, but I got so many deliveries to do. I'm just gonna wait for him to call me. And this, this stuff's dry. It's been, it, Darren brought it here in probably April or something. And it's, it's re it was ready to go then, it's ready to go now. And then there's some pieces for mom there, some small rejected pieces. And then this is the last of the stuff that I have from the honey hole out here that I got. This stuff has been here since 2020. I know it ain't pretty. It's got the fungus on it, whatever. That's why I don't like buying, getting green wood and let, it let you know to pile it up. It needs to be processed right away. <sighs> then right here, this is my shag bar kickery. This is what Mike and I are gonna load up into my truck when he gets back here. I'm gonna bring the splitter right down here. We're gonna split this right in, and uh, I'll have it ready to go so I can deliver to him tomorrow morning because they have a drive-through where the firewood goes. The drive-through is blocking it so we have to get there early and my, I don't want to have to have Mike Mike can't get up here that early to uh, get it split tomorrow morning so we're gonna get it loaded today and uh, there's some more long cut stuff I I made that just from that pile there any pieces that were like uh, like I say over 18 inches long I threw over here and stacked it that stuff should be dry and ready to go and it split some cherry here. Those are for mom. And this is my other cherry area. This was empty. Mike and I got two loads that he cut at uh, my customer's house in Allegan. And I'm refilling this area. This stuff's pretty green, it, but it, uh, it should be ready by summertime. And I want to fill it all the way up to here. So it'd be about two cords out here of that, uh, just cherry. So cherry and hickory. 
I go out here and my long cut stuff. And then here's more hickory, which I would say is about two Joe cords of hickory, which is a 10 foot stack by four foot tall. Once, once that stuff is sold, then this stuff gets sold. And then over here in my driveway, I have a self-serve bundle stand, which when I make those bundles, the bundle wood that's still left up there, that's where I'll take them and put them there. So <clears throat> November 1st, 2022 inventory video. Thank you everybody who made it to the end and uh, we'll catch you guys at the next one.